Welcome back to REV Auto. Wanted to talk a little bit about boost control on Terminator X today. Um, I've done a few different strategies while I've had mine together. I started off with the the sloppy um, closed loop where you stole the input for the map sensor and then used the input to use the, um, the Holly boost control. I didn't really like that. I was having trying to get the, um, the PID loop set up at a hard time. It seemed like it was over, over boosting when I didn't want it to. So after that, I, um, went to a open loop when I did a 2d table and I can show you that real quick. I did a 2d table that was, um, it was, TPS versus RPM. So and that's just, and I'd go in here and change and put a, it output a duty cycle based on TPS. So if you're, you know, cruising along, it wouldn't be, you're basically on gate and it's not asking for anything. And then as you up in TPS and up in RPM, it would, um, it would increase the due cycle. And then that 45 is kind of about where my, um, and I basically adjust that when I was on the racetrack for um, what boost I wanted to run. So I did that for a little while. And then I uh, saw a video, I saw somebody mentioned it on sloppy. And then also I think I saw a video from LS1 Freak. He talked about the um, closed loop boost control without an input so and I've really enjoyed this so far so I figured I'd make a video about it um, so go into the boost ICF set it up I'm using a four point four port but I set it up with the use the Holly three port and I'm using boost versus RPM so I've been told that the uh, revert to wastegate safety doesn't work I haven't got to the ignition cut yet, so I'm not, I would assume that works, but I don't know. Um, boost versus RPM, and then you come in here, and this is normally your dome pressure, your target dome pressure, but this is gonna be actually be your, yeah, so this is, um, I'm set this up as RPM, and then my desired boost that I wanna run up here. I, uh, this is normally run with the dome pressure, but we're going to use it for target boost. And once you, so the, my understanding is the Holly, um, basically puts this as target boost as an output on internal output. So once you do that, you come back to the IO back to outputs. And then I set up an output. I named it Mac valve percentage. Yeah, that's basically what it's doing. It's outputting the percentage to the Mac valve. And it's PWM. <sighs> Configure that. And then um, I just set it up to where, you know, I want to make sure my voltage was above nine. It probably could be a little more than that. Make sure fuel pressure is above 25. Um, I don't want to be asking for a lot of boost. My fuel pressure is low. This is... Um, my fuel system is a little small, so I set it up. It's kind of a little bit of extra safety. If um, if the duty cycle goes above 99%, it basically reverts back to gate. So um, the uh, that way, or over 100%, because this is a blow. It has to be below 99%. Um, so I have a 340 pump stock rails and lines with DECA 60 injectors and it's on E85, it's, it's running, running out of, um, running out of injector, running out of fuel line. So the, um, map, I just set it to where it's above 85 KPA. That way it's just not trying to work. That's probably doesn't matter. Cause I think my lowest point on there is zero and then RPM I set above 2000. So, um, and then you come in here, PWM setup. And then, you know, I mentioned before that 45 number, 
Well, that's kind of, I think I came back in here and lowered it. I had some, I was having some trouble with um, some backfires and it ended up being an ignition issue. But I had came in and lowered the boost to just to try to make sure it wasn't boost related. So, so what I did was I have this duty cycle target dome versus boost. And the target dome is really target uh, boost pressure. So when you want ten, when I want ten pounds of boost, and it's got ten pounds of boost, then that's what the duty cycle output is. And then if it's if you're asking for ten and it's got seven, then it puts out a hundred. So basically, anytime the actual boost is lower than target boost, the number's big. And then up here when it overshoots the um you put it to zero and that basically opens the wastegate so but the the goal was to ride along this this center row through here so it takes some adjustments to to get that set up right and i'm still working on that i've done a you know have one pass of the track like i said i'd um, went in and tried to lower the the boost some, so it's got some waves on it. But here you can see this is on the two-step, it's building boost. The blue is target. So the purple line is the MAC valve percentage. So you'll see it overshoots and the MAC valve drops off. And then it uh, once it boost gets below target, the MAC valve comes back up. So it gets a little jagged, but here in second gear, you can see that the boost and target boost and actual boost are pretty close. Third gear, it overshoots and corrects. Fourth gear, you know, halfway through fourth gear, it lines out pretty good. So I'm really happy with this boost strategy. Um, yeah. Let's see if you, can, you can, not sure which data log is pulled up. Uh, Anyway, that was a we'll go back to, and then this is just a on the street. Um, it's forty eight percent throttle TPS, sixty four percent. So I mean, I was on it, but not real hard. Kind of wound it out a little bit. Fifty five hundred in first, fifty seven second, third, fifty one hundred. So, um. But anyway, you can see it's building. The blue again is target. The the green was TPS. We'll get rid of that. And then uh, target boost. Ah, so it didn't doesn't make any boost on the street in first gear. So that's fine. Um, second gear, right there before the shift, it pretty much got to target. So it built up. And then third gear by 4,700, it got to target. But remember, remember, this is still only 64% TPS. So, and I granny shifted it. So, I'm, you know, for just out driving around the street, it works pretty good too. If you got any questions? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, get some. Got any other ideas for videos you'd like me to do? Let me know.